components of quotient. I can estimate the quotient of a decimal division problem by using compatible numbers. Mark your learning. A food service received a shipment of a spice of a spice turmeric. The store manager is trying to decide whether to sell the turmeric in three equal bags, four equal bags, five equal bags, or six equal bags. She wants the turmeric in each bag to weigh between three tenths of a pound and four tenths of a pound. Into how many bags should she separate the turmeric? Okay. So, what is um? So two and three tenths is all is also equal to how many tenths? Oh. That also equivalent. So, how many tenths are in two ones? Uh, Not two hundred, but twenty. Okay, so there's twenty, and then we add three more, so there would be twenty tenths, right? And then they want the bags to be between what? Three tenths, three tenths, and uh, four tenths, pounds. Okay. So what is a multiple of any number of uh, three or a four that gets us close to either a little bit lower than 23 or a little bit higher than 23? Okay, or 21 and this is 20. Okay, so could we do 21 and 10? And 28 10? I mean, sorry, not 28 tenths, 24 tenths. Are those the two closest? Yes. Oops. Okay, so if we took 21 divided by 3, what does that get us? 7. Okay, or 7 tenths. And then 24 divided by 4 would get us what? Oh, actually, we want to use the 3 this time. It does 8 tenths, right? Okay. I also heard that we could do, let's do with the 4s. What would be closest with the 4? So 20 tenths, right? And then what else? 24. 24, right? Yeah. So that would be 20 divided by 4 equals 5 tenths, right? And then 24 divided by 4 equals 6 tenths. Okay, and then they also want five and six bags, right? So what's compatible with five? 20 and what? 20. So 20 divided by five equals four tenths. And then 25 divided by five equals five tenths, right? Okay, so these were the three, right? These were the four. This was the five, and then what would six be? Um, yeah, or 18, right? 18 divided by six equals three tenths. If that's a number lower, what would be a number higher? Um, 24. So 24 divided by equals four tenths. Okay. Okay. So what do you think would get so they basically went in between the three and the four tenths. Which one of these, like down here in these answers, got us the three and the four guys? Yeah. The six, right? So which would be the better way to separate them? Into the six equal bags.
Fill in your skinny, a cook pot and envelope of the spice saffron. She wants to store equal amounts of the saffron in eight glass jars. About how much saffron will the cook put in each jar? So we have eight glass jars, this much of the saffron, and then about how much will she put in each jar? What is an expression you can use to model the problem? So what's, the, what's an equation we can use, guys? Um, 1.9 or 1 and 9, 10 um, divided by 8, okay? A compatible number is close to the dividend and can be divided evenly by the divisor. How can you use compatible number to make your estimate? So, this is also what? What did we turn that into before, guys? 19 tenths, right? Because you have so many tenths in one flat, right? How many tenths do you have in one flat? 10, right? So it would become 19 tenths, okay? Is 19 a little bit easier number to try and work with than 1 and 9 tenths? Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. So by turning it into that, 8 um, is more compatible with that 19, right? Okay. So, um, let's see. Do you think your estimate is more or less than the actual? Okay. So, what are we going to do? So what's the what's a low multiple of eight? Well, sixteen, right? So you could do thirteen tenths divided by eight, which would get you two tenths, right? What's a high one? Twenty-four. So twenty-four tenths. divided by eight equals three tenths. Okay, so out of those, is the 16 closer or the 24 closer? The 16 is closer. Now, is it gonna be more or less than our actual answer? Less. Less, because 16 is less than 19, right? Okay, so less than. Because 16 is less than 19. Okay, so what is a different compatible number that you could have used to estimate? Okay, so what is that estimate? So basically, that's this right here, right? We showed both of them up there already. Okay, so is this estimate more or less than the actual amount? So that one would be what? So more than because 24 is larger than 19. The cook thinks that there will be about uh, 2,300 ounce of saffron in each jar. Is this amount reasonable? Explain. So we got our actual answer or estimate to be what? Two tenths, right? So that would be written as 0 0.2. So is 2300 close to two tenths? Yes. Okay. So yes, because two tenths is close to 20. Three hundred. Step it out. Number two. Twenty three friends decide to order some food. The friends decide to share the total cost evenly. About how much will each friend pay for food? So we have twenty three friends. Um, about how much will each friend pay? And our total is the one hundred forty eight dollars and eighty cents. Okay. So what's our expression first? What's our expression or $148.80 divided by 23, right? Okay. Now, they have the word about in there, so that means they want a what? An estimate, right? Okay. So estimate the quotient. So quotient. What's our quotient here? And a 
kind of go together and then what about the 125 150 150 okay okay so what is your estimate so if i took 140 divided by and the reason why i said i wanted it with the zero is because what can i do there i can just help out the zeros right 14 divided by 2 is what okay so our low estimate would be what 70 dollars or our high estimate would be what? Um, or, or not 70, sorry. Because we knocked off the zero, sorry. Seven, oh, they're gonna be paying a lot for some pizza. Okay, so $7 or what? How many times? So basically you can't just knock off the zero on this one, right? Okay, but you also know how many quarters would be a dollar fifty. How many quarters would be in a dollar fifty? All right. So about how much will each friend pay? So which one is the closer estimate? Do you guys feel like? Okay. So possibly the seven. Now, once again, when we talked about money, what do you want to go with? A little bit higher so you make sure all your expenses are covered, right? Now, can I just write $7? No. No. Why can I not write just $7? Because we need an estimate, right? So about, we need about in the front because it's an estimate. Okay, check understanding. A ribbon is 4,200 meters long. So I'll cut the ribbon into nine equal pieces. Is 500 meter a reasonable estimate for the length of each uh, ribbon? Explain. Okay. So we're going to draw a line here. And we're going to say because. So once again, we have the nine equal pieces and this is our total. What can I turn that into? Uh, into a whole number with hundreds behind it, right? Okay. So, what is the multiple of nine that gets me close to forty-two? Okay. So, a little bit lower would be what? Thirty-six. A little bit higher would be what? Forty-five. So, which one's going to be closer? Okay. So, I can say forty-five hundred. Divided by nine equals what, guys? Equals 500. And then 500, that's written this way in word form, right? If I were to write that in decimal form, what is that? 0 0.05. So is that match what they said was reasonable? Okay, so I joined that yes or no here. So yes. 